शुक्रवार शाम कैबिनेट ने वक्फ अधिनियम में करीब 40 संशोधनों को मंजूरी दी है और द मोदी गवर्नमेंट इज सेट टू अमेंड द वॉक फैक्ट टू कर्ब इट्स अनचेक्ड पावर्स यस यू हर्ड दैट करेक्टली This draconian law written with Hindu phobia was brought by the Congress party's government. The Waqf board led by a Muslim CEO wields significant authority including directing the collector under section 28. Upon receiving a notice from the Waqf board, Hindu individuals must scramble with all their documents to prove their land ownership to the Waqf board. India has one central and 32 state Waqf boards, each a seven member committee of Muslims. In stark contrast, the Congress enacted Temple Act allows non-Hindus on temple boards, undermining Hindu autonomy. Section 3R of the Waqf Act defines waqf as any property deemed pious or charitable under Muslim law, enabling the Waqf board to claim lands. This exclusive act in a secular nation grants one religion undue power to seize lands from others. The Congress has perpetuated this as seen in the 2022 Tamil Nadu Waqf board's claim over the 1100-year-old Chandrasekara Swami Temple and its surrounding village. Congress leader Nasim Khan's statement, "Once a waqf, always waqf." Once a waqf, always waqf. suggests the waqf board's decisions are beyond parliamentary amendment showing disdain for the indian constitution and democracy ki jis property ko ek bar waqf kar diya gaya phir na usko becha ja sakta hai aur na khareeda ja sakta hai however the modi government is poised to challenge this the cabinet has approved 40 amendments to the waqf act including restricting the waqf board from unilaterally tagging properties as waqf assets this is just the beginning